Hey collectors, Anthony from HashesNet, and today we're taking a look at Dragon Ball Z Bandai figures. And uh, as you can see, we have quite a few. And this, this is Bobbity's crew, not counting Boo, although, I mean, technically, I guess this might be Boo. But, uh, so we're going to go through this. Uh, I forget his name. Uh, I want to say Pewee, Pewee, whatever. I don't know. I don't remember his name. Obviously, I'll correct it in the description uh, if I figure it out. But anyway, of course, this is... Uh, uh, Bobbity, and this is uh, Spofovich. I thought we had Yamu, unless that is Yamu. Yeah, again, yeah, I'll have the name in it, but that's Yakon. And of course, the Bora. And I think these guys came out all around the same time, so um, they're more or less highlighted and developed the same. Uh, unlike other series where a character changes throughout the course of the series, uh, they do try to keep at least some areas standard, like you'll see like the androids all generally... Um, function the same if they're from the same era so but uh here is bobbity uh this is kind of a plasticky cloak he just comes off and he looks like an old lady i guess with a mumu on mm -hmm. um this i mean looks like it's supposed to come off but we're not going to force it because i'd have to put the head off uh articulation literally his legs move forward and backwards and then his arms are up and down just head rotation not very much going on um it's just easier to keep this on him um but uh yeah i mean he got the face and everything he's like there's like these these uh lines in his head are supposed to be the whiskers but they're not real but these whiskers here are real uh he got like a nice rubbery feel but uh yeah, de decent enough and we'll stick him over here um problem with him though is if you don't put his legs all the way back he'll fall it's Popovich. he came with the smogin energy canister uh which is used to fill boo but like if you could just take random energy and he absorbs it, why do you even need this guy to do his job and stab Gohan? But whatever. Um, big guy. He has a universal arm joint. And he just, as you see, his arms just go all the way around. He's super loose now. Uh, his head, he's just on a mountain. He's just, it isn't moving. Uh, leg is very simple. So I guess four points of articulation. No waist bend. Um, it's just weird that he came out generally at the same time as these guys and only has this much going with him. But, I mean, he is basically a meat mountain at this point. Uh, I'm surprised he got the universal joints for the arms. And we'll stick him back here. Uh, so Yakon, he's the light eater, energy eater, whatever. Um, so, yeah, it, very interesting. No head movement, but he is just long, articulated. Uh, these actually go into his arm. Uh, so, yeah, you can pull him in and out. And uh, so he, he actually has a little bit of something going on. I I can't remember if his price was different. I mean, he's such a big figure. You would assume that he would be differently priced compared to other figures. Um, but uh, he has uh, ankle. He has no leg bend pressure, but he does have ankle tilt and ankle spin. Uh, he, of course, got waist here. Universal, as a matter of fact, on his legs. Uh, he has a small tail here. I was like, does it bend? No, it don't. Let's not force it out either. But, I mean, look at the detail on this guy. Um... He has, like, very little waist. But, I mean, he is a big boy. He was probably one of the largest figures that came out. Um, his weight is comparable to probably uh, Super Boo, I guess. Um, I mean, obviously, he's heavier. But there's, like, ever, other heavy fa figures that um, came out in the line. And, and he is a big boy. Uh, and he balances pretty well with those feet. You just have to make sure that's at the right angle. Uh, so we'll put him back here. Uh, Papui? So, I don't I remember his name. Um... Because he reminds me of that one Frieza Force character that Vegeta killed on Namek. Um, which is probably why I'm getting the names confused. But uh, head articulation, no up and down or anything. Uh, arms just spin. Uh, they have uh, elbow. So that's that's good there. He has uh, a nice knee bend. Uh, no ankle or anything. No waist. Decent enough. Uh, little fins on the back here. Kind of reminds me of a Mega Shinron. But uh, you know, just basic figure. Nothing too fancy going on here. And then finally, Deborah. Uh, there are some Burger King figures on this line. And it, um, my little brother would basically pretend that those Burger King figures, which are statuettes of the core, uh, you know, um, Dragon Ball Z characters, would spit on them and turn them into that, uh, that, those statuettes, which was a cool thing because they were in scale with the figures. So it made sense. Anyway, um, up and down, uh, no arm twisty. He does hold his sword. He has arm twisty here, though. Uh, actually, I'm twisty here. No, yeah, okay, so he's just kind of upper arm. That's weird. But yeah, he can uh, do this. Uh, no knee bend. Uh, no, I don't think any weight. Yeah, no waist. I mean, the cape is 
is on there. Yeah, the cape is attached. So I mean, it's 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 oh, it's serviceable. There's no cape, there's storage for the uh, the the sword. It's just uh, yeah, it's just very 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 nice, uh, nice to bore, very well detailed. Uh, also, like probably of all of these guys, uh, probably the newest one. I would feel I like. They did a lot more detail, got rid of some articulation, but I mean, I guess in, it, he's fine. Um, he's just uh, he's a bill of brick, and it's like easier to get to stand on here. Thing. The other thing I, I realize as I go through these figures is as we get later into the series, they get rid of the little stand ports. But anyway, the last thing we have is this boo egg. It doesn't open or anything, and I think this is the boo egg. Uh, let me know in the comments. But just very simple, very basic. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.